Hey, what's going on guys? Ian from MaddenSchool.com. Today going over our first Madden 20 tip of the year. We're really happy to be covering Madden again for our 13th now uh, consecutive Madden game. And so we want to just dive right into the Arizona Cardinals playbook to a new formation called Shotgun Cluster HB Strong. And the play we're going to call here is called Post Curls and it beats every single coverage in the game. So first just kind of run through it versus various coverages. We'll start with like a cover three sky. So to set this play up, what we're gonna do is put our uh, uh, square or X receiver on a uh, Xbox one on a streak route, put your tight end on a drag route and then block the running back. You can also slide protect if you're feeling like there's some pressure. Then you just buy the time. Every single time we're looking to that uh, B or circle receiver on that deep uh, post route. It beats every coverage in the game. But then you also have this really cool uh, kind of read concept underneath where you have that tight end on a drag and the uh, triangle or square receiver, or I should say triangle or Y receiver on the little uh, stop route in the middle of the field. So that really leaves the user in a pretty tight position. You can either stay shallow with your drag and a little hook route in the middle of the field there, or he can run back deep with that uh, circle receiver. Either way, somebody's going to be open. If you feel pressure, you can always just hit the uh, tight end on the drag route pretty fast. And if the uh, middle linebacker uses that drag route, just kind of wait and then the triangle receiver will be open. But like I'm saying here, the main read always that circle or B receiver on next box. So that was against cover three. We'll go against cover two next. Again, Arizona Cardinals playbook, shotgun cluster, HB strong, post curls. So we're doing cover two here. Same setup. Streak the uh, square receiver there. Tight end on a drag route. Block the running back, optionally slide protect, and you just buy a little bit of time, and you can see that guy's going to get wide open as he crosses the field. If they do user it, you have the little combo underneath with the drag and the little hook there in the middle of the field. You can see just how wide open he is there. If you're a little bit more accurate of a quarterback, we'd be looking at probably a 30-yard gain or so. So that's how it looks like against the cover two. We'll also do it, let's say, maybe cover four and then we'll do a man-to-man -man defense as well. You can see there our guy kind of just got beat up by the middle library got stuck there but you can see how absolutely wide open he would have been there and then we'll just head on into like a cover two man as well but it's going to work the same against any man coverage the key here is just getting the time to throw it so that's why you block the extra running back if you're really under pressure what you can do is you can I've motioned the tight end, and what that'll do, if you snap it before it gets set, is uh, just give you a second extra blocker along with the running back. I'll show that to you next here if you are interested in that. If like you're just getting all kinds of pressure, you can see here, the pressure gets there. I mean, you have a lot less time in Madden 20 to throw the ball, but if you kind of dance around a little bit, buy some time, you should be able to get enough time as long as your opponent isn't rushing like six or seven guys. So what I'm talking about here is one thing you can do is you can just motion this tight end here over and then snap it before it gets set. Now you have that extra blocker. You can see that circle or B receiver is always going to be wide open. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first Madden 20 tip of the year. We have a lot of ebooks and guides coming and we'll have a lot more free tips uh, trickling out pretty consistently over the next few days as well. So until the next time guys, take care.